360 Yield Center, we're a year and a half year old company and our focus is on nitrogen management. So nitrogen management, a lot of people think about, uh, you know, what nitrogen rate, but really it's a full system type of approach, you know, residue management, how we, how we work our ground, you know, at planting, how we come through, how we soil sample to get our nitrogen rates and how we apply in the most efficient way possible while also keeping our plant healthy. So it's really a full season system type of approach for nitrogen management. So when we think about corn, it's all a numbers game, right? So how many kernels can we make and how large can we make those kernels? So growth stages that are extremely important are VE at emergence. We want uniform emergence. We don't want any stragglers because we, we lose yield. You know, V6, we're de determining kernel rows round. We don't want to be nitrogen deficient at that point in time, but we may not need all of our nitrogen needs at that point. Now pollination, obviously we're looking to, to pollinate every ovule. And then, you know, we get to that R2 standpoint, that's when we determine our tip back on our ear. So we want to have nitrogen available. We want water to bring that nitrate into the plant. But we're still not done at that point. So we get our R4, R5, R6 needs. That's when we grow our kernel size, our test weight. So we really need nitrogen through those stages as well. So I, th I think here in, in Michigan, a lot of growers believe we need our nitrogen needs early. Well, a nitrogen, a, a corn plant actually needs a majority of its nitrogen after tassel, very close to 50%. So when we think about when we make our applications, you know, Nitrogen is mobile throughout the season and very responsive to, to the weather. So when we make those nitrogen applications, we want to make sure we have some early season to get that plant growing, but we want to make sure we don't run out of fuel come right after pollination. So targeting, you know, uh, 40 to 50 percent of our needs after V10 or shoulder tall corn, uh, we really need to have long se full season uh, nitrogen availability. Yeah, so you know, you, you go to a nitrogen meeting and everyone always wants to speak of rate. So rate is extremely important, but I think there's maybe two details about nitrogen that might trump rate. Uh, number one is timing. You know, when that corn plant has its large uptake of nitrogen, we see that uptake curve starting at V8. You know, get a little bit of nitrogen out front, you know, get to that V8 and really look to push uh, optimization based on uptake. Uh, the second one is placement. You know, we're working with a corn plant. We're working with a fibrous root system. It's a mobile nutrient, so let's place that nitrogen right over that root system. That plant's going to take it up more quickly, be a lot more efficient with the conversion, and we're not leaving it out to loss. You know, at 15 inches away, that corn root has to grow 10 and a half inches to pick up that band of nitrogen. So if we can place it closer to that root system, we're going to be a lot more efficient with that. And then, of course, rate. You know, that's always important. And, you know, as, as farmers, we have to make plans when we purchase fertilizer. But with nitrogen, it's such a mobile nutrient, we have to be willing to change in season to be responsive to the environment that we're given. Now, this past year, we lost a lot of nitrogen. You know, in terms of rate that we need for, for our optimum return on, on our investment, you know, it might be a little bit higher in a year like that because our yield potential is higher. In a dry year, we might be less. So we need to be responsive to our environment. At 360, we have a product called 360 Y-Drop. And what this product allows us to do is hit the timing. We're, it's, it's on a riser, we're able to come in later in the crop. Not necessarily late season, but more mid-season, right? That, that V8, V9, V10 time frame. So we're able to get down through that crop canopy later in the year. And the Y-Drop actually places a band of nitrogen right on that root system, right next to the plant uh, for our optimum efficiency. So, you know, having Y-Drop to be able to come through your your crop, you know, most guys will hook this to a self-propelled sprayer, but if you don't have a sprayer, you know, if you have a toolbar, we're going to gain a lot of efficiency based on placement. We can actually come in a little bit later in our crop too because we're not trying to sink a coulter or a knife in the ground. Uh, the Y-Drop base runs a foot off the ground and two hydraulic hoses drag behind it, which delivers that nitrogen right at the base of the plant. In Michigan, I feel our belief has always been put nitrogen in the ground. So very much agree with you if we're 15 inches away. If we're 15 inches away when we're making that application, I want that nitrogen to be in the ground. But the difference, putting it right next to the plant, is one, you know, we think about where our residue is at. Most of us use row cleaners. Those row cleaners are going to kick that residue out into the center of the row where we have a high carbon load. The high carbon load is going to tie up that nitrogen. So there's one difference. Second difference is uh, canopy, right? So a waist tall corn plant to a, a shoulder tall, you know, we're just starting to form canopy closure, but where we don't have canopy closure, where those light rays strike the soil surface are right in between the rows. So we have warmer temperatures, we increase our volatilization rate, we lose that nitrogen at 15 inches away. Versus right next to the plant, we have canopy closure, it's cooler soils, so we're not, we don't have as high as loss potential next to the plant is right between. And then the third one is water, okay? Um, 
Corn is a C4 drought resistant plant. The way the corn plant is put together is those midribs will funnel dew water. Um, if you go any day in the summer, you can look at the base of that corn plant and you can see that dew, dew water accumulate at the base of the stalk. We call that stem flow. That stem flow is enough water to incorporate that nitrogen so we don't lose it. Versus at 15 inches away, we really need a sizable rainfall to be able to work that nitrogen in. So the seven most expensive words in business are, we've always done it that way. So, you know, I'm not here to say what we've done with nitrogen in the past has been wrong. I think that we've progressively gotten better. I think with this new, the new learning of when a corn plant needs nitrogen with new technologies such as Y-Drop to be able to place that nitrogen when that plant needs it, be more plant responsive versus farmer responsive. You know, we've, we've, we've learned more about how we can, you know, get higher yields and higher return on our investment uh, through these technologies. So it, it would be ideal to make one pass across the field. So, so Hagee does have a split tank design out there. I know a lot of farmers are retrofitting their sprayers to, you know, splice them, cut them in half and, and have a different separator to be allowed and plumb that to allow the same one pass to make two different applications. So uh, 360 Yield Center is, is hosting what we call a Yield Summit uh, February 23rd at the Lansing Center. Um, it's going to be a day of nitrogen education, uh, how we see our products fitting into more of a plant demand versus maybe an easy button of a farmer demand. And uh, no, it'll be a very good day, uh, 23rd of February in the Lansing Center. Uh, the time is 10 to 2. And if you're interested, uh, please go to our uh, website, 360yieldcenter.com, under our events tab, be the Michigan Yield Summit, uh, register and claim your seat.